Hey guys, welcome to Grade Game, where every student can make progress, and that includes you. Okay, what we want to do today is I want to talk to you about something a little bit different. I want to talk to you about money. Okay, so I went down to the bank, took all of my little pennies, and I cashed it in for this. There it is, a whopping fantastic £50 note. Now, I think this is only the second time in my life I've ever had one of these. But what's happening is the Bank of England are redesigning the £50 note. They want to change who's on the back of it. On the front will obviously be Her Majesty the Queen. But on the back, at the moment, it features Matthew Bolton and James Watt, two fantastic thinkers and scientists from the Industrial Revolution. But they want to put somebody different on the back this time. So they're asking for your help. They want you to come up with an idea of who to put on the back of this note. Now, in order to do that, you can just log on to the Bank of England website, and if you're in years 9 to 13, submit your ideas online. Um, however, they've also produced a little worksheet. So if you're in years 7 and 8, uh, you can download this worksheet. All of the links for everything will be in the comments section below, so make sure you check those links out. Um, if you're a teacher, you can download the worksheet. There's a little image of it inside the picture. You can have a little look get all of your class to do it. But how do you share those ideas with them? Well, you log on to Twitter, okay? You get your class teacher to take some photos and they tweet them to at Bank of England. Don't forget to include the hashtag Think Science. Now, as with all little competitions, there are some rules, I'm afraid. So, it's quite simple. It's the rules about who goes on the back of this 50 pound note. Firstly, they must have contributed to the field of science. Okay, so they've got to be a scientist or engineer of some sort. Okay, they have to be real. They can't be fictional. So I'm afraid one of my favourites, Doc Emmett Brown. Sorry, mate, you're out. No flux capacitors in this video. The next rule, they must not be alive. Now, that's an interesting way of saying they must be dead. So again, another of my favourites, Prof Brian Cox. I know we go back a long way to when you were playing your keyboards in D-Ream and I was just a, a lighting designer. Um, but I'm afraid, mate, can't have you on the £50 note because you're not dead yet. Oh, we could do something about that, though. But you're making some good TV at the moment, so you keep doing that and we won't kill you off yet, OK? Um, they must have shaped thought, innovation, leadership and values in the UK. OK, so they've got to have some influence on the UK. And they must inspire people to do things, not divide them. OK, now. I think that we ought to be looking at putting possibly a female scientist on the back because we've had a lot of men featured on these notes and it would be good to redress the balance. So get your thinking caps on, get on that, those, those web searches, you know, Google, there are other websites available. Um, get your choices in and submit to the Bank of England. So, who do I want on the 50 pound note? Well, I think we ought to go for Ada Lovelace. Now, if you've never heard of Ada Lovelace, she was the Countess of Lovelace and an English mathematician and writer. Now, she lived in from 1815 to 1852, and she worked alongside Charles Babbage, the inventor of the world's first computer, and she was credited with creating the first computer programming language in effect. Um, and there is a, a computer language named after her called Ada, and I think because of her contributions to the whole computing world and we wouldn't be where we are without her, I think she deserves to go on the back of the £50 note. Now, I've got something very, very special to finish this video off with, okay? I am going to take this £50 note and I am going to burn it and it is going to be, at the end, completely intact. Okay, this is just a little bit of science. Don't try this at home, folks. All right, this is one for your science teacher to have a go at. 50 pound note, set light to it, and it will be intact at the end. Watch and be amazed. So here we have all the components for our experiment. We've got our alcohol. We have our 50 pound note, fresh from the bank, there we are. We've got on there Matthew Bolton and James Watt. 
Okay, so that is a valid £50 note. We have our lighter and some tongs for holding it with. Now, remember everybody, do not try this at home, okay? I'm doing this under control conditions with safety equipment standing by in case it should all go wrong. So, here we go. We take the £50 note and we shove it into our alcohol. Make sure that we get it nice and covered. Plenty of alcohol in there, £50 note, nice and soggy. Let it drip off because we don't want to get too much alcohol on there, but that's quite wet. Holding it in our tongs. And we get our lighter. And are you ready for this? One fifty pound note. Ignited and intact. Wow, that was pretty exciting, wasn't it? So there we have it, a £50 note burned and completely intact. There it is. Have a good look. It's all absolutely fine. I'm going to go off and spend that a little bit later. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember, don't do that at home, guys, OK? Um, please stay safe. Safety first. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out all the links in the details below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, maybe watch some of my other videos. Good luck with your GCSEs. Okay, thanks for watching.